What is going on guys, it's Wafa here, and welcome back to some more Terraria. Now, last time we left off, we finally, I guess you could say finished the green dungeon over here, but I'm like, I guess, reading you guys' comments, you guys said I had like a bad, like just bad luck, I guess you could say, with this dungeon, like generation, you know? Because apparently it's not supposed to like, shut off like that, like that's closed off right there, and as you can see, there's a lot down here, we haven't explored this, this bit over here, uh, where was it? Over here too. Apparently we just had bad luck with that, so that kind of sucks. But we basically explored all the dungeon that we can explore, which is always good. So that's cool. I also, uh, off camera between this episode and last episode, went over to the Pink Mank and kind of organized uh, over in our chests over there with all the loot that we had. And I even said I wanted to potentially expand the storage area out a little bit, and that's what I ended up doing. Uh, we had like an entrance room that was like three or four blocks wide or something like that and then we had a bedroom and then we had the storage room i ended up merging that bed bedroom with the the front area over here and then of course just expanding the uh the can i put a torch here by the way i don't know if i can <laughs> but uh, i expanded out the storage area yeah i don't think i can so that sucks there's like a little bit of a dark spot right there i kind of want to lit up but yeah we have all the chests that we had beforehand uh we had structures blocks uh we have more structures now because we had again we had a lot of structures we got from the green dungeon we have plants here and then we have empty 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 animals loot and potions empty 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 armor and weapons so you guys see we have a lot of extra chests over here which is really really nice so that's really cool also you guys said i got a shield a cobalt shield equipable can be worn in vanity slots one defense and grants immunity to knockback. That could be really interesting. You guys did say, hey, go talk to Kyle. Put that in the... What would it be? Helping I, or crafting, I guess, huh? Put that over here and see what he says about it. So, oh, man. Ooh. Okay, so that's what you guys are saying. With uh, putting the shield over here. So I could make an obsidian shield. Equipable can be worn in vanity slots. Two defense instead of just one. Grants immunity to knockback. And grants immunity to fire blocks. Now, I wonder what a fire block actually means. Does that mean like, you know, stuff like lava? Stuff like, I guess, like flames? And I don't, I don't think I get burned by like campfires and stuff like that, but... Obsidian skull. So yeah, it just like combines these two together, kind of like what we had with the GPS that we made a little while ago. So that's interesting, but I wonder where we're going to get an obsidian skull from. Uh, you guys also did say, hey, don't forget about the bestiary. That's achievements, whoops. Where's the bestiary at on this? Oh, there it is right there, bestiary. Saying, hey, go to the bestiary, and your NPCs will show their, like, preferred biome there. So, like, the merchant, he likes the surface. Uh, she likes the hollow. I don't know what that, like, a magical forest or whatever. Uh, Demolitionist likes underground. And you guys did say, hey, underground is technically, like, if you look at the thing over here, I don't know what that is, the GPS or what. But you can see we're, like, 252 feet above we're at the, the surface level right now. So what I did was I dug underground over here, and uh, I might as well actually show you guys uh, Oten the Demolitionist's current base. It's not even really that deep, I guess. I thought it might have been like a lot deeper than it actually is, but it's only uh, 190 feet above the surface. Or, I guess you can call that surface, because this is a surface, but I guess the surface is a lot lower than I thought. But I went over here to this uh, little mini hecavator that we built a while ago. And uh, it went down to like here beforehand. I dug down a little bit more until we actually got down to underground. So we're 10 feet underground right now, which should make up for, uh, you know, making a ceiling and all that kind of stuff. And I guess we'll kind of expand or build his base over here. And I also even found this over here, which is like a chest and a, a clay pot, which I saved for on camera so we could actually see what's inside of that chest. So let's see what's inside of this clay pot, silver and copper, and uh, brisk aglet, 5%. Uh, Increased movement speed and then another 1% because it's brisk, I guess. Got some rope, wooden arrows, lesser healing potions, recall potion, iron skin, uh, whatever right there. So that's cool. I guess I'll grab that chest and use that uh, for... Well, I've already got full storage uh, in our storage room, so I don't need that. Let's put the dirt blocks there so I don't get uh, stuck on that. There you go. And I guess uh, if we move Oten down here, do we need to move Simon? I'm like, if I look at the, the bestiary, which is kind of crazy to say bestiary when we're talking about actual humans and stuff, but... Uh, Where's Simon at on this thing, though? The fisherman kid. There he is right there. So he likes the ocean biome. A rude fishing genius sends others to find a weird rare fruit. Yeah, I need to go see what he wants. I might actually have a fish if, you, if I actually talk to him at the right time, right? It doesn't say anything about like him wanting like company and stuff like that, but I guess I guess we could go build a, a base for him over by the beach or something like that. And of course, if we could do that, then... Oh, well, yeah. If we want to have like a teleport underground... We need to have two NPCs, like, right next to each other. And who is someone that likes the forest, though? Like, of course, uh, Kyle. Oh, wait, you're done. Oh, wait, yeah, surface. Surface. 
I guess surface is different from forest or... Oh, there's jungle again. So that's good that we put the dryad over in the jungle. So that's good. Arms dealer. He likes the desert, actually. I'm like, we already have the desert uh, teleport, so we don't need that, honestly. Uh, he likes the jungle, but he's over in the desert, so he's fine with that, I suppose. Zoala just likes the surface. I wonder if we can get the thing from her. Because I guess surface just means... Oh, the mechanic likes snow. Clothier likes underground. Okay, so we can put the clothier and O10 both underground. They'll hopefully be fine. And then, uh, well, that's a traveling merchant. And this is the old man. Some of you guys did say the old man is actually the clo- Yeah, look at that. They're the same person. That's what he looks like right there. And then he's got a red hat and a scarf there now. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. And that's all the NPCs we have right now. So I guess surface is the forest. So anyone that likes the surface, we need to bring... Oh, man. The zoologist. The merchant. They were together. Is there anyone that also likes the jungle, though? Just like the dryad? I guess we switch them over there. Uh, let's see. Underground again there. It looks like Zahn likes underground, which is good. It makes sense. So I wonder if we put Zahn and Oten together underground, we'll get a, uh, an underground uh, totem or God, uh, pylon that we could use. And if we do that, if we have an underground pylon, it actually might be better to put their base like over here. That way I can teleport basically to the bottom of the map like easily, right? So maybe I'll move Oten and Zahn like right back to where I built Zahn's original base. That might be a good idea. And hopefully Oten, Zahn, or maybe someone else that likes the underground. Uh, Clothier, yeah, I guess we can put them underground. Clothier, Zahn, and Oten. We can put them underground and hopefully get a, 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 a totem from... Man, I keep saying that. A pylon from them and be able to teleport basically to the bottom of the map really easily. So that'd be really cool, you guys. Maybe we could actually do that instead of building it, uh, like right here, like I was trying to just a moment ago. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's a good idea. And then Simon, I guess we could take him over to like the somewhere else, like to the ocean or something like that. And maybe he'll, he'll be fine with that, I suppose. Speaking of Simon, I do want to go check and see what fish he wants right now. Look at that. Looks like a dead body's hanging on right there. It's kind of crazy. Quest. He wants the fish of Cthulhu. What? Sky lakes and the surface. Huh. I didn't even know a sky lake was a thing, but I guess it is. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe here in the future we'll worry about the Zahn and, and Oten underground thing to try and get their teleport thing. Uh, we'll worry about that a little bit later. But for the Cobalt Shield, if I want to have immunity to knockback, maybe I'll put the armored white... Ah, oh, that's three defense right there, though. I love that. Regeneration, I love that. The flying carpet's really, really handy. Maybe I'll get rid of that. And then we. I'm like, right now, what I want to try and do is potentially take on the Brain Cthulhu again. Because we have some really good weapons we got during that dungeon. And we have 21 defense right now, which is actually pretty decent. Look at that, I'm actually holding the shield right there. That's pretty cool. So we're going to be immune to knockback. And we have an extra defense right there. So we're at the 21. Do we really only have 20? Yeah, I guess we did. Okay. And then, yeah, that's it. it I guess maybe... It, if that if that brain Cthulhu drops the obsidian skull, that's going to be crazy. We're going to get that thing pretty quickly there. But uh, let's go over to quick stack the nearby chest. Yep, okay, that's just stacked up a bunch of stuff right there. So that's good. Aglet, I guess I put that up over in the wardrobe over here, whatever that thing is. Uh, yep, yeah, we already have a bunch of aglets here. And, uh, flying carpet. I, I think I'm gonna keep that in my inventory in case I wanna switch out to it, you know? But for right now, Brain of Cthulhu. What do we need to do that again? We need to go destroy Crimson Hearts. And unfortunately, I don't see any more Crimson Hearts over there, right? Maybe we might be able to find some over here? This is probably the only place we could actually find more of them, because this looks like a dead end here. Like, look at this, we've already gone through all that. So I guess, go over here, then we place down a bunch of torches, and then we like, kind of stopped right there. So I guess, Crimson Altar, Crimson Altar. I guess we can continue going down and seeing where that takes us, maybe? And we have really, really, really good weapons, like, like this, this heck of Nimble Magic Missile right now, which is crazy. Like, I'm able to shoot, like, a missile that does, how much damage? 28 magic damage, and it also has, like, auto-aim, too. Like, it's like a heat-seeking sort of thing, so. If there's an enemy nearby, it's automatically going to go towards that enemy. Or I can, like, control where it goes, which is awesome. Let's see. We're going to find anything over here we can actually shoot with that. Like a crimson uh, face or whatever, the face monster. I forgot what his actual name was. <laughs> but if we could find another one of those. Oh, wait, hold on. Is this it? Mm, I think. Oh, yeah, I think I can go through that, but I think I'm going to go through here. It's going to be a little bit. Okay, yeah, look at this. Look at that. Automatically heat seeking to all those things. That is crazy right there, you guys. That's my 50th face monster up there. I might as well go up there and grab the uh, whatever it might have dropped, like a, like a banner or whatever. Let's see. Vertebra and some silver and stuff. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That is crazy. Oh, man. What is that? A star? From what? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, uh, stars give you mana. I forgot about that. Yeah, just like whenever you kill something, 
Uh, like, with, like, just, just melee. Sometimes it'll drop, like, a heart and I'll heal you up. But yeah, that, that regenerates my heckin' mana. I did get some comments, a while ago, about the Brain Cthulhu mission, I think that's it right here. Saying, hey, if you do the Brain Cthulhu mission, you need to, like, kill his little minions. Don't try and kill him, kill his minions first, and then you try and kill him. So that's gonna be really cool to try and test out here, but... I don't want to get too ahead of myself. And of course, we have this thing right here, which does 66 melee damage. I could just spin it around like infinitely like this, or I could like throw it like this too, which is crazy. So we have some amazing, and, and we also have this superior aqua scepter, which is pretty cool too, if we want to do a lot of damage. Like, like it shoots super duper fast, but it doesn't do too much damage. Like what, 18? Like even then it has a 12% uh, damage and knockback and critical strike chance and stuff, because it is superior variant, which is crazy good. But we do have a heckin' uh, spider thing right here we can kill. Let's try and kill it with the, uh... Yeah, look at that, we can kill it easily just by spinning it around us. We're not even, like, shooting or anything like that, so... Place some torches around here if we can. Just keep it nice and lit up. I think I think this is a pretty good zoom right now. So, let's continue exploring this this crimson biome. Oh yeah, and I did get comments of... Oh god, yeah, look at this, it opens up a ton. I did also get some more comments from you guys saying, Hey, don't worry about the... The powder of cleansing or whatever... I forgot what it was called, cleansing powder. Something like that, but you guys said don't worry about that. Don't don't try and spam it. You'll just waste your time You're going to get something a lot better uh, Later on or even soon. I forget what you guys specifically said, but uh, yeah, this opens up a ton We're definitely oh, yep. Mm-hmm crimson heart now I don't know how many crimson hearts we've already destroyed like right now because apparently it's supposed to destroy or it's supposed to spawn in the brain Cthulhu. You look at that, it's so powerful. It's supposed to spawn in the brain Cthulhu like once every three. Oh, another crimson heart. Perfect. So I don't know if we're, uh, we've already destroyed one or if we're on the- Oh man, there's a dart trap right there. Or if we're on uh, number two or what right now, but uh, what's that under there? Are those pots? Those might be. There's some ice here too. I don't think this is really anything really to explore over here. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, it just kind of circles around to up there, so I don't, I don't need to waste my time over here, but we found two crimson hearts thus far. Are we potentially ready to- Oh, whoa, what? fall damage broke through that right there. That was kind of interesting. But are we potentially ready to take on the Brain Cthulhu again if we break these? No, I can't- I don't think- Yeah, I still can't break through that, so I still have to use my bombs. So I guess I'll use sticky bombs there. And remember, we need to use the bombs against the Brain Cthulhu and his minions. There you go, another one should take that out. And, uh, just get this Nibble Magic Missile to take care of all those spiders there. That is insane! Like, I might even, uh, boom, look at that. When the, uh, heat seeking can't get to them, I'll get to them that way, hater. <laughs> and then we need to destroy it with a hammer, or just destroy it in general? I forget the specifics, it's been 10, 15, 20 episodes or something like that since I last, uh, destroyed a heart, of or, uh, what do you call it, Crimson Heart, so. Let's try and destroy another Crimson Heart here in just a moment. Shine Potion right there. Using either the hammer or, uh, a pickaxe or what. I'm gonna try and use the hammer, because I think it might be the hammer. Screams echo around you, I think this is about to happen, you guys. I think it's about to happen. I think we just got another, uh, thing, by the way, too. Something's happening right now? Screams are all around you or something like that. Hold on. I'm gonna try and kill that thing. I'm gonna try and get bombs on my, uh... Let's, yeah, let's do that. There you go. Get some bombs. Now, is he about to spawn in, or is it just like, oh... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, a little bit of fall damage right there. Whoops. <gasps> Heart, uh, things down there, you guys. We can go up to basically full health here in just a moment. Is he about to spawn in? I don't know if he is. I feel like if he's going to spawn in, he should have spawned in by now, but life crystal. Life crystal, nice. Alright, let's go. Let's let's consume those. Boom, boom. Oh wait. Is there a cooldown? We're at the 400 health now, you guys. Nice. Alright, let's go to the nimble magic mirror or uh, magic missile. Hopefully take on these other creatures. See, I don't want to take on the uh the other crimson heart here just in case he's about to spawn in, you know, and thus far he hasn't spawned in just yet. Oh man, my magic it takes a while to reach. Uh, is this like a lot of magic or something like that? Uh, uses 12 mana. Now I guess it takes a while for my magic to reach out. Sheesh. Another Crimson Heart. Okay, that one's just out in the open, so I don't even need a bomb to get that one. Let's see. Zoom out. Oh man, a lot of Crimson Hearts here, so that's good. I love that. So if we go to this one and destroy it real quick. Hmm, what am I going to get? Let's put, let's put the hammer like right here where the boomerang is. There you go, just so I could easily get to it, you know? But if we go down. Oh man, there's even an underground. I forget what it was called. Like an underground, like, like, thing, like a base. Okay, well, we're about to, we're about to hit it right now, you guys. Oh, I don't have any food right now. Man. Do I have any good potions? I have shine potion. Oh, I forgot to bring potions, too. Man, I'm, I feel like I'm so underprepared for this. <laughs> but at the same time, we have bombs, we have other stuff, we have health potions. We have a regeneration band over here. We might be good in that regard. We don't have any knockback. 
Oh, yep. Oh, it spawned him in. Where is he? Where is he? There he is right there. There he is right there. I'm going to go out into the open. I'm going to get my nimble magic, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully kill all these heckin' creatures. There he is right there. I'm getting a magic whatever. It's killing a bunch of them. Uh-oh, take it to fall damage right now, though. I need to watch out. Hold on. I just ran out of mat- or, uh, what do you call it? Mat- Man, I don't know. Bombs. Throwing some bombs. I'm- I'm healing up. I'm healing up. Did I just heal- Oh, I didn't heal right there. Hold on. I can get some more... Magic missiles here. Oh, he's really low on health! Oh my gosh! I think we basically killed all of his, uh, minions. Yeah, the heart of the- Wait, what the- the heart of his brain, or uh, brain of it—I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's exposed right now, you guys. Holy! Hold on, let's get the uh, mini shark. Let's get the mini shark. Let's get out of here because I'm taking some damage from him. Let's get him with the mini shark. Hopefully, take him down. There he is. There he is. There he is. As I'm regening the uh, whatever you call it, mag magic missile. Let's do it. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! He's almost dead. We got him. We got him. Brain of Cthulhu has been defeated. Thank you guys very much. You guys had some great tips to take on those little, little minions, uh, little brain minions, or whatever you want to call them, first. And then, of course, this thing was amazing during that. Basically, heat-seeking straight towards them, killing them there. Man, that was amazing. I didn't think I'd be able to do that right there, you guys. That was insane. Holy. And we had 400 health right there, which... <gasps> we're getting tissue. We got the tissue samples. We need that for something. Oh, yeah, to make, uh... What do you call it? Crimson uh, armor, crimson pickaxe, all that stuff, I think. I think we could do it now, you guys. Uh, there's a lot of tissue sample around here, though. Hold on. Is it just now being dropped, or... Did he, did he like, explode tissue sample all over the place, and I'm, I have to go collect it, or... What's happening? Oh, a lot of uh, mana down there I can go grab. Holy heck. Man, this is awesome, you guys. We did a great job. Hold on, these- yeah, these are like ice slimes, I might as well kill them. Yeah, and they're dropping mana too, so I might as well grab it. There you go. Oh, a little bit of gel too, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have the magic carpet during that, so we had a little bit of trouble, but we had no knockback from the creatures, because we had the shield, remember that? We had this nimble magic mirror, or whatever it's called, or uh, magic, uh, missile, not magic mirror. <laughs> I'll probably magic mirror here in just a bit to go back home though, but, uh, I gotta kill that blood stalker, there you go. That was amazing there, you guys. I need to- I need to check my inventory, see what else we got there. Uh, also, before we, uh, leave... Oh, man, look at all- so many- I- I could do another- another one- oh, wait, no, that's the same one. But yeah, there's loot over there. There's loot in my inventory I need to check. So many crimson hearts around here, you guys, it's insane. Crimtain over there, or, uh, yeah, cr or, uh, crimson ore? I forget what it was specifically called, uh, pile of bones right here. I don't think- yeah, I don't get anything from that, unfortunately. I'll probably put these shield up so I can get the, uh, flying carpet back just to have a load- oh, yeah, we have the, uh, Forgot about this. There you go. We have like face monsters around here, so we need to watch out for that. But yeah, I forgot about the uh, the hook shot or whatever that's called right there. So that kind of sucks. But I think I'm at the maximum health you could have for pre hard mode. I think it's called. So 400 health. We're, if we find another life crystal around here and we and we mine it, I don't know what happens when you consume. I guess you just get healed up to full health, perhaps. I don't know. But uh, there you go. Kill these guys. Yeah, that does take a lot of mana. It just. I guess these guys are dropping a lot of, like, mana, uh, stars that, like, I just regen my mana all the way back up to full, I'm just kind of used to that, but I guess wasn't used to it back there, sheesh. But yeah, that, 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 that nimble magic missile thing here, this is insanely powerful, you guys. This is probably the best weapon we're gonna have for quite a while, especially in pre-hard mode we're having right now, you guys, it's insane. I do know that you're supposed to take on, like, a wall of flesh. You guys were saying I do have a voodoo doll, and I'm supposed to throw that into lava, and that's supposed to, like, spawn in the wall of flesh or whatever, and that's apparently, like, the boss of all- Oh, another, uh, tissue sample right there, nice. Or, like, two of them. Well, that's supposed to be, like, the boss of all bosses. Like, pre-hard mode, that's, like, the transitionary thing from pre-hard mode to hard mode, is to defeat that boss, but, yeah, if that's the case, I'm not gonna be doing that, like, for a while. <laughs> Like, I want to at least defeat all the pre-hard- like, there's supposed to be, like, a queen bee or something like that that we're supposed to take on a little bit later. Definitely want to take on all the pre-hard mode bosses before we do that one, you know, but, uh... Lethargic Snowball Cannon! <laughs> uh, 10 range damage, that's funny. Got a lot of rope and iron and, uh, shine, blah blah blah, and, uh, ice tool. Oh man, my inventory is actually full. Silver coins. What could I drop here? I guess the chest, like, I don't need that, right? I'm like, I kind of want to have this unique chest right here, you know? Just so I could actually have a little bit of a Oh wait, what is this stuff? Brain Cthulhu Trophy, nice! Oh yeah, what is the, uh, drop rate? I don't think that guy could through that door, right? What's the drop rate of the Brain Cthulhu, uh, stuff? How do I... Oh, here we go, next page. Where is he at? Oh! Uh... Oh god, yeah! You guys saw his, like, brain opened up and it showed his heart. That's what I was trying to, like, 
say during the end there. I didn't know how to describe that. But it was like showing the heart of the brain, which was weird to say in and of itself. A piece of Cthulhu's torn asunder, this vile mastermind pulses uh, with agony and aids the crimson to attempt to avenge its master. A thousand health, only a thousand. Drops five gold, 10% chance of getting his trophy, we got that. Crimtain ore, 40 to 90, we got a hundred. Okay, yeah, that's guaranteed. Brain Cthulhu, Matt, that would have been really fun. 14% chance, uh, Bone Rattle summons a baby face monster. <laughs> that would be awesome. I wish I could get that. D did I get it? Uh, got 60 tissue samples, that's good. I don't think we got the... And yeah, the, the Crimson Heart uh, Light Pet that we have right there, yeah, we, we, we got that from uh, the latest Crimson Heart that we broke. So we can probably just put that up, honestly. Uh, actually, you know what, let's put that in the trash, put that in the trash, and then I'll, I'll get this chest, because I like that. That way we can have a little bit of variation of chests, and it'll make it a little bit easier visually to see uh, what chest has what back at the base, you know, but uh, for right now, this is the... Yeah, this just continues on to the ice biome, so I don't think we really need to explore this, to be quite honest. Oh, this might actually be the... Oh, emerald over there, nice. This might actually be the end of the crimson here, you guys. Like, all these, like, crimson tentacles that kind of lay out there, you know, kind of like over here. They kind of, like, go out in every direction, kind of look like an eyeball or... Oh, wait! A, me a meteorite has landed! You guys said that was a thing that could happen, too, if I def uh... If I destroy a crimson heart. Now, where's that emerald at? I forgot where emerald... I think emerald is... Yeah, emerald's better than sapphire, right? Because we have an emerald thing, right? Yeah. That's why we made it, because it was better than sapphire. Let's go grab some... Oh, whoa! God, these blood crawlers came out of nowhere. There you go, kill them. But a heckin' meteorite landed there. You got oh, two crimson hearts right next to each other, golly. Yeah, I don't know how I know about that emerald. There's like three or four emerald right there. Let's grab it, you guys. Is that three of them? Oh, I don't have the inventory. Uh, dart trap. Get rid of that. Oh, snow blocks. Dart trap. Get rid of that. Let's put that over there. There you go. Pick up the emerald. I think I did. Yep, another emerald right there. Yep, we had three emeralds right there, so that's good. Let's go, let's go to the surface, let's go check out this meteorite, you guys. Is it a meteorite just dropped right there, probably because we, uh, broke one of the Crimson Hearts, which is like... Oh, whoa. What is that? Is that a mushroom? I don't know what that is, I need to kill this, uh, sli There you go, overkill on that, I can slime right there, sheesh. What's down there, though? I don't know, that gets pretty deep, but, uh, let's go Magic Mirror back home. Boom. Whoa! Uh, there's like the... The lanterns, I forgot the technical name of it. But, uh, can I see the meteorite here? Do I have to, like manually look around. I assume we could spawn anywhere, right? Or like fall anywhere. I don't think it updated on this map. Oh wait, uh, yeah. Doesn't seem like it updated here. I guess if anything we can teleport to our friends over in the desert. And then of course over to the jungle. To see if we could- let's zoom out by the way. So we could actually get a big, big, big picture view. To hopefully find this thing, but uh, right now... I am not seeing anything right now, you guys. <laughs> what if the meteorite landed on my egg and boss arena right there? Which, by the way, yeah, we, we could do the Crimson uh, Eye of Cthulhu like two or three more times. Like, we have those eyes summon, summoning eyes or whatever. Back at the base, we have like three of them. So we could actually do that, but uh, let's go over to our friends over here. Actually, you know what? Let's not teleport. That way we can cover all grounds. And look at that background. That's so beautiful. That way we can cover all grounds here to hopefully find this meteorite. Now, if it's a meteorite, of course, you know, it comes out of the sky and it crashes down to the ground, so... It may have a possibility of actually being, like, underground. But I, I assume we could actually, like, see a big impact crater or something at least, right? So that's why I'm going here on the surface to try and find this thing without teleporting, so... Let's see what we could actually find as I have this, like, spinning blue mace or whatever right here to try and kill any enemies that might come near me, so... Let me continue exploring here on the surface, you guys, and... I'll see you guys here in a bit, and hopefully I could actually find this meteorite and we can see what's over there. And if, if I can... Hopefully our current tools are good enough to actually mine it and find out what's inside. I already have enough fallen stars, I don't really care about that, but... You know, mine it, find out what's inside, and if not, I guess we'll have to magic mirror back home and use those tissue samples to make a crimson, uh, pickaxe. Oh, yep, we're over here in the jungle with our jungle friends, R.A., so that's good. Might want to see, uh, like a trade with our Celestia. Let's see, what can I trade with her? I can get some stuff out of my inventory here. Yeah, you can take those seeds, I don't care. Which one? There you go, that button. Death weeds, sure, take those. Vertebrae, I might as well keep that, because I need that for something. Tissue, oh man, yeah, I'm not selling those tissue samples, holy heck. What else, Crimtain? Oh, yeah, we got 201 of that, golly, that's good. Crimtain block? Uh, I guess I can keep it for right now. Shiver Thorns, you can take that. Face Monster Banner. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not really going to use that. I'm not going to have a whatever over there anyways, but... There you go, freed up a good amount of, uh... What do we call that right there, so that's good. So, we have creatures over here, though, let's kill them. There you go, got them. But yeah, let me just pause the recording real quick. Continue adventuring here on the surface. 
uh, both to the left, all the way to the left, and all the way to the right. I'm going to do that on cam or off camera as well. And let me see if I can find this impact crater for this meteorite, you guys. And if not, then I don't know where else to find it. So <laughs> I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, I found it. Oh god, what's that? Meteor head? What in the world? Well, I found it, you guys. We are west of the dungeon. Can I shoot him with this thing? Oh, I can. Okay. West of the dungeon, east of the crimson biome. I guess I'll show it on the big map right here. Yep. So there's the crimson biome. There's the dungeon. Now we've got the like meteor heads heading towards us, and I wonder what all this stuff is. Oh, go! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm faking. I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. Ooh, I guess this stuff is still blazing hot or something like that, but, uh... I'm so intrigued by this. Like, we have these weird meteor head mobs that are going through the actual terrain itself to, like, attack me. We have this big hole in the ground now. Kind of want to look at it again. Is there... Uh... It looks like just, like, dirt or something. I don't know. I guess I could try mining it. Uh, let's try and zoom in a little bit. Hold on. Oh, whoop, one button. I guess we try mining it. Meteorite blocks. Oh, um, yeah. This is able to. Yep, can mine meteorite. Okay. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong button. I guess I'll just try and kill. Oh, yeah, those things look like actual meteorite, like blocks, which is kind of crazy. But if I mine this stuff. Yeah, it just turns purple. It, I guess purple means it's starting to cool at the very top, and then. Oh, wait. Oh, yep, yep. I'm taking damage right there, so I need to watch out for that. So, can I mine. What was it? Uh, not mine, but uh, use like a bomb or something like that on this. Let's see. Oh yeah, I already have it. Let's uh, throw a bomb. And I'm pretty sure it's supposed to drop blocks when you do a bomb, right? Oh, I can't do it with... Uh, what about a dynamite? Uh, stick a dynamite. Get away from that before we die. And... Dynamite is not able to blow it up either. Interesting. Okay, well that was kind of a bad idea because I don't have that much of an, uh, an area there to stand on top of. There's a balloon in the background there. But this is interesting, so we have the inventory space, we can get some of this meteorite over here, which is good. Let's start actually mine some of it over here, and of course we have 400, we have maximum health right now for our current situation, so we can actually, you know, soak up, oh man, we're actually getting kind of somewhat low, because it, yeah, it is doing like five, 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 over and over and over, so let's, uh, there you go, health potion. And we have these, these meteorite heads constantly battering us right now, so we need to watch out for that too. We have the regeneration band, uh, currently equipped too, but, uh, Let's, uh, let's do this. Go hit him with the. There you go. And then. Oh, yeah. I'm. Oh, man. I almost died. I wasn't even paying attention right there, you guys. Uh, you know what? I can take another health potion here in 30. Ah, that's a lot. That's a lot of time. How much meteorite do we have? We have, uh, 23. Should we try and go down to like 20 or 30 or something like that? Just in case? Maybe. I don't know why I placed a torch right there. Oh, I'm taking some damage. I need to watch out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh man, that was a lot. I almost died. Hold on. There you go. Get him there, nimble missile. Or was it magic missile? Ooh, okay, that's good. I can heal up here in 11 seconds. That's going to be good. Uh, can't take that, unfortunately. So, man. At least I have the, uh, the whatever you call it, though. But I cannot destroy these just by, uh, whatever you calling it. Just, uh, blowing up with the bombs. That sucks. But I can't. Oh, whoa, I got hit by something. Oh, a cactus? Or no, I don't think so. I don't know, but I can heal up again. So, there you go. Another heal right there. I don't know if, uh... Oh, I forgot. I took out the campfire, so I can't just place that down. But at least we know where this is now, you guys. So we can come back here a little bit later. Um... So I guess fire blocks... You remember the shield? These are technically fire blocks. They, like, catch you on fire or do flame damage, whatever you want to call it. If I had the obsidian... Head, skull, whatever it's called. Combine it together with my cobalt... Or, uh... What was it called? Cobalt shield or whatever. Yeah, it was cobalt shield. Then I'd take no damage, I guess, whenever I'm standing on that stuff, so that's interesting, but... For right now, let's just magic mirror back home, and I guess I'll end the episode off right here, because... Man, it was eventful today, and... Holy heck, we got out alive, and that's all that really matters, right? Sheesh. So that's good, let's, uh... Quick stack the nearby chests. Let's do that, there you go. And yeah, we don't want... Brandy Cthulhu Trophy, where are we going to put that? It's actually... Oh, that actually is kind of big, so... I don't think I actually store that anywhere over here right now. I'm like, I've got banners all over the place. Might be able to- I don't think I can store it there where Kyle is. Yeah, there's like a torture. Yeah, the, uh, the extractinator's in the way too. Man, I guess like maybe I can get rid of some of these banners and place like right here. I guess I could do that. Because we, we've got tons of banners. Like, these banners actually do nothing, so, uh... What is that music that's playing right now? Is that just like... 
I wonder if we have a bunch of cre- oh, I wonder what the map looks like now. Uh, yeah, there it is right there. Interesting. Oh man, there's even something underground there too, but uh, yeah, meteorite, meteorite, meteorite. There's some green stuff there, I guess that's grass or something. Uh, but yeah, these banners don't do anything, so I might as well use this opportunity to, uh, show off a brand Cthulhu trophy right there, so there you go, nice. Not like I'm bragging or anything like that, but, uh, <laughs> put the banners up over there, there you go, and now we have a frozen chest we could actually use. Lethargic Snowball Cannon, I guess we could try that out, just for the meme of it. It's supposed to be, like, slow or something like that, right? Let's see, how's this- oh, I need snowballs, eh, whatever. I think we might have snowballs, we'll worry about that later, but we also have meteorites, so let's put that up over here. And I assume we could use those meteorites for something. Oh, I can make the pick now. Deathbringer pickaxe, 12 melee damage, uh, 70% pickaxe power, compared to 55. Yep, I'm making that right now. So that would be 6 tissue sample, 12 crimtain bars. We have, uh, 24 crimtain bars and, like, 60, yep, 60 tissue sample. Yeah, we can do it. Let's do it. Boom. And then I'll, I'll go to Zon. Let's go buy an upgrade for that, too. Oh, wait, hold on. Did hurtful. Yeah, I'm like, I don't care about, like, damage. And, well, this one does. This is well, that's a crazy coincidence. They're both hurtful. Hold on, let's unfavorite that. Probably sell that. And uh, now we have the hurtful Deathbringer pickaxe. That uh, fast speed, weak knockback. Very fast speed, very weak knockback. So this is going to be a little bit slower to mine, I guess. So that sucks. But it's able to mine Hexstone. So that, that just goes to show, hey, let's go back underground. And let's try and mine some of this Hexstone. I guess we didn't get deep enough to find it, huh? So, that's going to be really good that we're actually prepared in that regard. Is there anything else that's relatively new? That we just unlocked, basically, by getting the tissue sent- Oh, yeah, Crimtane armor? Well, we need a lot of Crimtane bars for that, right? I think so. Because it, it, for, like, silver, for instance. Yeah, 30 to get the chess piece. And we only have 12 <laughs> right now. Well, we have Crimtane ore. We can get Crimtane ore. We have 200-something, so, uh, boom. We have 67. We have 79. There it is. Crimson Helmet. Crimson Scale Mail. Crimson Greaves. We get a full set. Actually, I don't know. We have 70-something. That's 20 and then 15 tissue sample. 25 and then 15 and then 10. We can afford it. We, we, can, do, we can do it. But do I want to? Because that means no more Ultra Bright Helmet. I guess we can replace the Gold Chain Mail and the Silver Greaves. Oh, God. I still had Silver. Sheesh. That's 6 defense and 7 defense right there. So it'd be 13 compared to 3 and 5, compared to- okay, so it goes up by 5, basically. Do you guys want to do it? I think- I think it's going to be worth it. Flesh grinder? Yeah, it's a hammer. That also requires flesh, too. Or, uh, yeah, flesh. I don't want to spend too much of that, but, uh, yeah, we have 54 right there. Let's do it. Crimson Greaves and Crimson Scale Mail. Boom. Greaves. Boom. Get rid of the gold cha uh, chain mail. Yeah, that's weird. Let's put on the Crimson Greaves. Let's put on the Crimson Scale Mail. And we're up to 25 armory right now, you guys. Nice. Well, we're down to 19 tissue samples. I guess I'll store it up in there. Down to 34 crimtain bars. And sort items. There you go. I don't know if I can actually smelt any uh, ingots right now. I doubt it. Uh, but I, I guess I'll go up to whoever. I guess I'll go to the mechanic. Lauren, sell some stuff to you. The old pickaxe. 24 silver. Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't care. Uh, that's the wrong button. There you go. The old armor. 50 silver. 20 silver. There you go. That should be fine. And I'm not seeing anything else we could really sell. Oh, what about the snowball lawn? Ooh! Snowball cannon is... I'm like it's lethargic, though. I'll keep it just for the meme right now, you know? Then maybe next episode, uh... Actually, you know what? Oh, wow, look at our armor. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Our armor looks pretty crazy. We have, like, what do we have? Flippers on? Oh, yeah, we have the, uh, the menacing specter boots. That's why my boots are blue right there. But yeah, we've got, like, red armor right now, which is really cool. And we got an umbrella hat. Kind of want to see if we have any other, uh... Yeah, I don't think we do, do we? Whoops, that's the wrong thing. How do we do... Oh, there you go. We have another, like, oh, I guess I could wear a top hat or the Eye of Cthulhu mask or a King Slime or something. Or I guess I could just put something, uh, or I guess just wear nothing. Yeah, that actually looks really cool right there, you guys. I've got the Night Vision got, or, uh, Ultra Bright helmet. Yep, Ultra Bright helmet. And I've got, like, the red outfit. I actually look like the Doom guy right now. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> actually, doesn't he have a green outfit? I think so. Maybe. Either way, uh, this episode is probably super duper long. I said I wanted to end it, and I might as well end it right now before I drag it on to like an hour long heck of a recording session. So, anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on YouTube homepage as soon as they come out, because next time we play some more Terraria, we have a lot of stuff ahead of us that we can do. We can go dig down underground, build a base for Oten and Zon, and, uh, the, the, what, what was the name? The, the Clothier? We can build a, a cave base for them and potentially get a cave uh, pylon. We can go mine some hexstone down here. 
and uh, potentially find the bottom of the map or something crazy. That's going to be really cool. We have some amazing weapons. We have some amazing armor now. So we're in a really, really good place right now in this game, and I feel really, really good about everything, the, the current situation right now, especially after defeating that Brain Cthulhu right there, because we had a lot of trouble with him in the past, and feels great that we finally defeated him right there. But anyways, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Terraria. Oh, bye there. Man, look at that weapon speed. That is crazy. I don't even have to spam it. <laughs> oh, bye there.